Okay guys, so today is Saturday. But before we start the Thanksgiving preparation, we are going to the gym to get a quick half an hour workout because later will be greater. <laughs> so here at LA Fitness, but one thing we never considered was the cold. So it has been very hot this October, but starting yesterday, the temperature dropped significantly. So. Okay guys, so that's a wrap. Um, just finished weight training and did some cardio. That was good deposit for later for the carnage that I'm about to come. Okay, so I'm back from LA Fitness. We just did an awesome workout and I consider it dues for the damage. Well, I'm using damage loosely because it's not really damage because if and you guys will hear me say this over and over if you're doing this fitness thing right you shouldn't be missing important events like this you shouldn't be on broccoli and chicken you should be having fun and indulging and just relaxing with your family so we're back home now so we have a lot to do we have pineapple juice to make potato pudding sweet potato pudding and we have a secret regarding that i will we'll will we'll, we'll decide if we'll disclose it we have macaroni macaroni and cheese this creamy velvety macaroni and cheese that we stole from this restaurant in Bermuda and we have sweet and sour chicken don't worry about it don't worry about it Jamaican sweet and sour chicken is the best and we will show that today Thanksgiving is actually Monday however today is the only day we'll get all the family together so it's going to be a very huge day in food I've been tasked with preparing Three important dishes. Usually this would be a very big blow um, to my fitness program, but I'm embracing it. Embracing it as a special time um, to spend with family. Okay, so the first thing we'll start with is the sweet potato pudding. I'll be doing that in the cast iron pot. Nice size. And there are so many benefits to making it in the cast iron pot. First thing on the list is the sweet potato pudding. So I'm Washing them thoroughly and I'll grate to the desired texture. And this is the secret, secret tool. Okay guys, um, so I just washed the sweet potatoes. So now there's an interesting story as to how we source these sweet potatoes. Because here in Canada, the real sweet potato is very expensive and it's hard to come by. So we had to take quite a long trip to the ethnic supermarket. So source these but we did and, and now we're here so now I'm peeling so I'll be doing I'll be grating them and yeah it's also hard to get that real Caribbean Jamaican grater as well so this is what this is the best that this is the best that we could yeah this reminds me when I was growing up in the countryside so after this We'll be grating the coconut. So this will be make this is the, the main base. So we'll be adding flour, um, butter, and some secret ingredients. All those spices. I'm my spice drawer here. Ready? Hopefully, the sweet potato pudding will be good as good as the, the one that my mom made when I was growing up. The sweet potato is ready. So now, now to break my coconut. And I'm not in the countryside, so I'll have to use a hammer. So you guys can tell me if I'm right. So I'm, I'm referring to this as the nut. As I'm hearing that the whole thing is a coconut, so it's not really the nut. So I'm saying that the nut will be separated from the shell. So you can see guys, the shell is coming off easily, so 
the water process, the hot water, running on the hot water, not perfect. But it will be it will separate. Well, what I'm calling the nut will separate it from the shell. So guys, I'm working the handicap to this. I can't use here. Here's what I didn't carry up. I just have one side to use. But I'll try to make the best of it. To see how quickly I can grate these coconut. As you can see, I'm working the handicap, so I'm pretty much focusing on this side of the, the grater. If you can realize the I used it to, to grate the sweet potato. And some of the strands they are longer than some so i'm hoping that that doesn't affect the quality and if you can realize the same thing with the coconut Come. so guys i'm combining all my dry ingredients so with the flour i have to ensure that i distribute it properly so i can't throw everything at one place i'm adding this is cornmeal i'm gonna add it this way so that you guys can see so I'm trying not to put too much cornmeal in it because we want to get that. We don't want the cornmeal to overpower, but we just add all the secret ingredients. This is seasoned to perfection. So now I'll add to my dry ingredients, but we will mix as we add. Because at the same time, even though we have the recipe, all potatoes aren't created equally. So you can see those long strands. I'm hoping, well, I'm more than likely the cooking process. We'll get rid of those. Okay, guys. So this is looking very lovely. So the pudding is on. So now the chicken, we're going to the sweet and sour chicken. Already seasoned up these from Thursday. So here we have sweet and sour chicken going on. So we have our chicken breast already seasoned. Guys, I'm so excited. I hardly cook like this, but whenever I cook like this, I put my chef hat on. So here I have my tapioca starch, which I'll be using. So even though I've already seasoned the chicken from Thursday, all the right spices for the tapioca starch i still apply a little onion powder garlic powder salt yes guys the powder is important not the onion not the garlic because those will burn So for these you want them a little bit crispier than you usually do for regular fried chicken because these will be going into a sauce and you still want to get that initial crisp. So the important thing is you don't want it too tough, you don't want it too crisp because it will spoil the integrity of the chicken. So you still want to maintain that soft internal bite but that hard exterior um, crunch. I'm about to check the potato pudding but before I do that I want to check the texture of the chicken so I want to hear a crunchy sound so okay. that sounds good so let's check the potato pudding now mm, smelling very good so this is a moment of truth this is my sweet potato pudding and over here I have my chicken cubes that are um, deep fried so I'll be making my sweet and sour sauce and this is what I want to see. The pudding is already leaving the side of the cast iron pot. And if you realize, you can see that it's well caramelized and that's one of the main purpose that I use the cast iron pot because of that. Because of that caramelization, it will create that perfect crust. All right, so here I have my, uh, my cheese. I'm focusing on my macaroni and cheese now. So I have, let me see if I can remember. I have my gouda, my sharp cheddar, and a regular cheddar, um, sharp cheddar. So the, the idea is just to have a variety of cheese and I'll be making a special sauce and I'll be reducing all of this in that sauce. And then you will see the final product when I drizzle it over my macaroni salad and then I bake that for half an hour. Let's see, but you will see the final. Sweet and sour 
ingredients put in all together like everybody can fry chicken but the sweet and sour sauce requires precision you can't channel my inner asian alone i have to give that caribbean mix so i have to add this tropical fruit you know it will give the sweet and sour sauce that boom that's it requires so guys the sweet and sour sauce is at level one so we're going to put a special ingredients you know i said that i have to have the tropical fruit so i added some pineapples but no this is another um essential ingredient but we do not want to pull this it's just like a grenade you see right here we do not want to pull that stem because we want it we want to extract just the flavors and not the heat that's what we say so the sauce is looking very rich so i have to be careful i don't pull these two grenades but they are going to give me that nice Caribbean flavor so guys these aren't lemons but they are citrus so it's perfect for the story I'm about to tell so when life gives you lemons right you make lemonade but here when life gives us lemon we add it to our sweet all right so that is the power so I bought these at the supermarket but they weren't they weren't so sweet but no we've repurposed them and now they are going to give us that nice blend of flavor i'm here adding the cheese to my secret sauce so in this sauce i have all the nice spices so i decided if i want to share this but next time so i just Add cheese and stir. So this sauce it requires a lot of patience, right? So yes, guys, we're on our way to Thanksgiving dinner. Yes, on a Saturday. So officially, Thanksgiving in Canada is Monday, which is second Monday in October, which would be the ninth. So now we're on our way to where we're going to have this big feast. So we've completed prepping the macaroni and cheese, the potato pudding. And the sweet and sour chicken. One of our main concerns was if if we combine the mac and cheese with the liquid, it would get, get hard. So what we did, we kept them separate. So hopefully we'll combine them when we get there. The sweet potato pudding, fingers still crossed. <laughs> we're hoping it was a bit soft when we took it out, but we are hoping that when it cools, it will harden and it will be perfect. Get, give that good bite. Guys, I'll have to go and try to salvage. So I have half the sauce, right? So hopefully in this house they have Good luck, good luck, good news, good news actually. So they have the sauces that I use and they have everything. So we caught back the sauce. So crisis averted. So now we're just waiting while we just observe the outdoors. <laughs> so guys, today was a success despite cheese and sour sauce spilled. So, the, so we came up with a good idea to fry the chicken and make the sauce, bring them separately. But we had a mishap and the sauce spilled. <laughs> but the good thing is, um, as you see in the video, we went to, went to the house and they had all the ingredients that we used. Well, except the pineapple, but we, the flavor of what was remaining in the pot was still there. So we just made some new sauce and it was, it was still a hit. So all in all, it was an awesome day. Had some good food, had jerk chicken, 
had oxtail. I haven't had oxtail in a while, but it was really good.